Hi. Welcome to Math Den. A series of math topics tutorials. This covers algebra, geometry, trigonometry, probability, statistics, calculus, and business mathematics. Today's topic is the interval notation and examples. Understanding the interval notation. This topic is important and prerequisite to solving rational inequalities. Take note of the different forms of interval notation. The interval notation is used to represent the values which are included in a set. It is used to represent the following. Solution set of an equation and solution set of an inequality meaning all the possible values of x that satisfies the equation or inequality can be written as interval of values especially there are many solutions for inequality take note that interval notation may be seen in symbols like parentheses and brackets but it does not mean that it is an ordered pairs interval notation is different from ordered pairs. To better understand the interval notation, take note of the following symbols. In interval notation, the brackets shows that the value is included in the set, while parenthesis shows that the value is not included. In the graph, shaded circle shows that the value is included, while the hollow circle shows that the value is not included for example we have the interval parenthesis 0 comma 4 parenthesis this interval indicates that the values included are between 0 and 4 but both 0 and 4 are not included because of the parenthesis symbol meaning the value starts at 0 0.1 up to 3.9 only in the graph, we will put hollow circles to 0 and 4. Because those values are not included, the solution set is from 0 0.1 up to 3.9 only. Another example, we have the interval bracket 0, comma, 4, parenthesis. This interval indicates that the values included are between 0 and 4. 0 is included because of the bracket symbol but 4 is not included because of the parenthesis symbol meaning the value starts at 0 up to 3.9 only. In the graph we will put shaded circle to 0 because 0 is included. We will put hollow circle to 4 because 4 is not included. The solution set is from 0 up to 3.9 only. Another example, we have the interval parenthesis 0, comma, 4, bracket. This interval indicates that the values included are between 0 and 4. 0 is not included because of the parenthesis symbol, but 4 is included because of the bracket symbol, meaning the value starts at 0 0.1 up to 4 only. In the graph, we will put hollow circle to 0 because 0 is not included. We will put shaded circle to 4 because 4 is included. The solution set is from 0 0.1 up to 4 only. Next example, we have the interval, bracket 0, comma, 4, bracket. This interval indicates that the values included are between 0 and 4. 0 and 4 are both included because of the bracket symbol, meaning the value starts at 0, up to 4, exactly. In the graph, we will put shaded circles to 0 and 4 because those values are included. The solution set is from 0 up to 4 exactly.
The next set of examples will include infinity. Suppose we have the interval parenthesis negative infinity comma positive infinity parenthesis. This interval indicates that the values included are between negative infinity and positive infinity. We always use parenthesis for infinity, meaning the value starts at negative infinity up to positive infinity. All real numbers in the number line are included. In the graph, we do not put hollow or shaded circle for infinity. It indicates that the solution set is from negative infinity up to positive infinity. Another example with infinity. Suppose we have the interval parenthesis 0, comma, positive infinity parenthesis. This interval indicates that the values included are between 0 and positive infinity. But 0 is not included because of the parenthesis symbol, meaning the value starts at 0 0.1 up to positive infinity. In the graph, we will put hollow circle to zero. Because zero is not included, it indicates that the solution set is from 0 0.1 up to positive infinity. One more example with infinity. Suppose we have the interval parenthesis negative infinity comma three parenthesis. This interval indicates that the values included are between negative infinity and 3. But 3 is not included because of the parenthesis symbol. Meaning the value starts at negative infinity up to 2.9 only. In the graph, we will put hollow circle to 3. Because 3 is not included, it indicates that the solution set is from negative infinity up to 2.9 only. Last example with infinity. Suppose we have the interval parenthesis negative infinity comma 3 bracket. This interval indicates that the values included are between negative infinity and 3. 3 is included because of the bracket symbol meaning the value starts at negative infinity up to 3. In the graph, we will put shaded circle to 3. Because 3 is included, it indicates that the solution set is from negative infinity up to 3. Now, let's apply all the notations in one problem. The instruction is Identify the intervals on the given number line. The number line is from negative infinity up to positive infinity. But there are values with hollow circles and shaded circle. Meaning the number line is divided into four different intervals. The first interval is from negative infinity up to negative 3. The notation should be parenthesis negative infinity, comma, negative 3, bracket, because negative 3 has shaded circle. The second interval is from negative 3 up to 1. The notation should be, bracket, negative 3, comma, 1, parenthesis, because negative 3 is shaded and 1 is hollow. The third interval is from 1 up to 5. The notation should be parenthesis 1 comma 5 parenthesis because 1 and 5 are both hollow. The last interval is from 5 up to positive infinity. The notation should be parenthesis 5 comma positive infinity parenthesis because 5 is hollow circle. It's your turn. Identify the intervals on this number line. Hollow circles are on negative 4 and positive 3, while shaded circle is on negative 1. 
There are four intervals. Pause the video and write your answer on the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more video tutorials.